As you can see, we're in the green fields of Glastonbury here. We've managed to catch up with the travellers from last week who we, who we saw over by Salisbury. Um, in the distance here, you can see the whole of the festival starting to li liven up, Glastonbury Festival. The travellers have come here to eventually go in there sometime today. But at the moment, you can see that they're encamped in this field, which has been graciously given by uh, a lady who's a Christian and who owns all this land. She lives in a house over there, just, just over there. And she kindly allowed the travellers to come and stay on her land, which is right next to the festival. And you can see the, the informal church and the bus and, that we saw last week, Mike and Carol's bus, and the double-decker. And they've been here now for about four days. And we've got just the famous goat here, Emma, superstar of last week. <laughs> And we've got a few people who are sort of getting themselves together to, to go off to the festival today. Hi, team. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about what happened then over the last uh, few days since we saw you last week. Yeah, um, since then. Of course, you, you'd gone off to Guildford, presumably. What, what sort of happened in the, in the last week? What's been... The... Um, from Wiley. Yeah, tell us about the eviction from Wiley. Well, um, police came round while everyone was off signing on and uh, said that well, everyone had gone to sign on yeah, in Southampton? Yeah, there's only about eight, eight people left in Wiley. Yeah. Everyone else was signing on. And so they came, police came up and so I told everyone we were being evicted and told us we had an hour. And then that hour passed and then we were still waiting and they were getting more frantic and then when they came back it was all right. Just drove straight off again. So the whole site was just lifted up and, and went yeah. that afternoon. Yeah. And did you have any idea where you were going to? Thank you. Yeah, we went to Lovely. Zeals and we stayed there for about a day and then the police came down and started threatening us with public order laws and that. So we had to go. They even landed one of their, their uh, helicopters with sort of like the top brass of the police come up and tell us to move. So where did you move on from there? Here. It must have been a big decision, though, to allow them to come on, because I know yes, it was. it was a very hostile reaction just around yes. the whole area. Yes, it was difficult. Was, was that a bit of a worry for you? Well, my husband and I had to think about it, and we had to pray about it and ponder on it, and I would have liked to have asked my daughter's permission, because this actually is her field where she keeps her horses. Yeah. It was nice until um, all of them came down yesterday, all the other travellers from Yate and everywhere. What will happen then? Well, um... Because they, they weren't allowed onto the site, yeah. Um, so uh, they wanted to come in here because obviously they saw this as a site. Any any vehicles on on a, on a field is a site, yeah, and we appreciate that. But um, we we couldn't let them on because you know it was a bit much on, on the lady um, who who let us stay here. I mean, they were the most villainous gang I've ever seen in my life, and they had a convoy of horrendous vehicles out in the lane. And they just started to move here, and they were about to smash down the gate. Because when the police came in, like, we were on the other side, other side of the fence, and, it, you know, it should be like, we should all stick together, but we couldn't in this situation, and it was really bad. So, I mean, we had hassles. Uh, the yeah. dogs drove me crazy, and the goat drove me crazy, and, <laughs> and the pop music drove me crazy, but uh, we were able to sort all that out, yeah. absolutely as human beings, and, I mean, I was able to let off just as I do to my own children. Yeah. Um, and sort ourselves out. So, um, I mean, you didn't obviously know the people before they arrived. No, 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 so, no. So what, what's the plan now then, Carol? Um, uh, well, we're getting towed onto the Glastonbury site. There's um, some people from Northampton turned up, the Jesus people, with a double-decker and uh, a bus, and we're going to be joining up with them. Do you know what would happen after the festival? Where you might go? Who me? No, I haven't got a clue. Do you think that you might still be doing this when you're sort of in your 40s or 50s? Um, at the moment I can see it, yeah, because I, I'm, I'm really into it and I really like it. Um, but, I mean, we take it as it comes. I mean, who knows? We, we might all, uh, it might get to the stage in ten years' time when, if, you, if you're a hippie and a traveller, you go to the gas chambers, you know what I mean? If we were left alone, right, and we had sights, right, yeah. so that we could stay about, I reckon that a lot less people would sign on, like, and we could become, become much more uh, <coughs> self-sufficient than uh, we are at present if we weren't bullied and pushed around the country like we are at the moment. I mean, I've put up with this lot here 
for what, three months now? Or longer? Longer? Longer. But you see, there's no, no noise or anything. They're lovely people. I'm very glad to have met them. I hope we'll be friends forever. I hope they'll come back and visit me. I hope they will bring their children to visit me. Um, and it's just been an absolutely lovely experience.